All right. We are ready. All engines go. Hey guys, this is Michael and I'm with Mikey. Imagine a group of people that uh, lived on the Green River right here in Kentucky and they uh, picked up some cameras one day and they started making some videos just to see if they could get views and they've done everything they could to get views. And uh, imagine that that is us guys. And we are still at it. Uh, over four years ago we started this. Mikey has been around since pretty close to the beginning. Uh, obviously, we're uh, hook, line, and chill, and Mikey's, you know, one of the hooks, you know, trying to get somebody interesting to talk to while we run some trot lines, some limb lines, and a jug line. We'll throw that out here in a second. Uh, we've moved to lines. It's kind of phase two of our uh, setup. Guys, I've promised a 40-pound fish, okay? I've promised it. And as you all know, if I don't get a 40-pound fish the week before Halloween, then... Uh, oh, hi! Oh, <gasps> they're mating on me. So if I don't get the 40 pound fish before Halloween, uh, the point girls will choose my final Halloween costume. But I'm pretty confident in this little area down here, just on, just based on the way the water looks. I'm pretty sure there are some big fish in that area. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we got 12 hooks right in this general area, which will be our beginning area. Uh, th this area is what we usually post on YouTube, if you're watching. We have some rules. We don't usually do rules, but uh, we have a dress code, and we, we can't cuss any more than three times. No more than three times in the first 12 hooks. After that, it's all Patreon. Uh, <laughs> then I can talk. And then Mikey can do whatever she wants. Last time she talked a lot. But. All right, we That's got a cool. bunch of cut bait and some live bait out there. Just wish us some luck. Alright guys, like I said, we're going to be gunning for some big fish soon. Right now we got uh, goldfish and some bigger chunks of uh, skipjack on. The river's down. First time it's been down in a while. And it's a beautiful day. It is beautiful. And uh, Mikey was the one that could do it today. Yep. I sure can. And I sure will. Pretty much every other hook I baited with uh, nope. either live bait or cut bait. I don't know how good the fishing is going to be right now, but we're set up. Now we're going to move one more line. I don't know which one it'll be, we'll, but we have an area down river we're going to put it, and that will be our final phase on the Green River this year. Now we we may visit another couple areas if we find the time and energy, but we'll see. If you're just joining us guys, we, like I said, we run trot lines, limb lines, and jug lines. And uh, you know, just for the fun of it, sometimes we're fishing for food, sometimes just for fun. We always donate to some type of charity per fish. We play a game if the fish Ooh. is big enough. This if looks like it's probable. If we don't catch it, if we don't Yay. catch a fish, I can't quite tell. Oh, I can. If we don't catch a fish, there is. Oh yeah, oh, oh, no, this is on a tree. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Oh, I was so excited, everybody. What the hell is that? 
Aww. Just got hung up. Sad thing. Sad panda. It's okay. And just to add, the jug at the end of the video, uh, we have a prize bag that the point person will draw from if we happen to catch a fish, which is rare. We have, uh, we changed it a little bit. There are four prizes. They're, they'll stay constant in there. So they'll have a 25% chance to uh, win certain prizes. The prizes are, help me if I forget, sunglasses, uh, free spa day, $100 cash, or a high five from Michael Horn. Oh, that sounds so rewarding. <laughs> well, again, again, it's just something silly that we do. And this drought line has been hanging up and now we're running it from the other side of the river. Hopefully it's not hung up again. Hopefully I don't fall out the boat. Don't fall out the boat, Mikey. All right, it hangs up right here, so does uh, it feel real tight? Well. Yeah, I think we're good. No, I, I, I hung it myself. Yeah, I broke a hook off. Now it's hung up on the other side, but. Why not? Sweet. Okay. Do you have the plucky pluck? Nope. Uh, there's a store behind that, so. What, what happened? <laughs> we tried to save a cow. Oh. Uh, down the river, a cow had fell off the cliff, the rock cliff down there. You're like a real Chick-fil-A now. Yeah. And we literally got a, it was a, it was a yearling or whatever you call it. Oh, a, a baby. It wasn't a calf, but it was, it was like a, a year old, like a teenager. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty big. And we decided that we were, me and Daniel, we're going to get it inside the boat. Oh. And we did. Yeah. But he uh, did a cannonball off the, out the other side. Oh shit. The cow did? Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> and he knocked the clip off. There's something eating this. Hello. Okay. There's two nets right there beside you. Okay. I can't quite see it. Or you can throw them in. I don't know which. This line needs to be tightened up just a hair. Got him. Decent little fish. Got him, champ. Hey, buddy. It's pretty but yeah. too. But yeah, guys, we had a cow down the way and it we and we we got it to the trail for it to go walk back up the hill and uh you know whether or not it did it just sat there when we left but uh, it was embarrassed yeah the worst part of it it was blind so uh that's a blind cow yeah yeah that's probably why he fell off the cliff because he oh just walked oh my god <laughs> yeah but well, we got him i'm so glad you helped the disabled cow yeah, that's a, we put a brand new line out yesterday so well, the good thing is that things are coming off the hook, so that's a good sign. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it, it sucks to, to not catch fish, but. It sounds like National Geographic over here. Like, yes, it's a good sign that we are losing things off the hook. Yeah. It means that biting season is coming. Those big fish will start stirring out oh, yeah. eventually. It's, it's a warm day, guys. It's not terrible. It feels good, but uh, sunny. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a nice day, though. And Mikey was uh, kind enough to grace us. With my presents? Because my present is a present. Uh, let me see. Here. Woo! Dang it, it should be hung up there. That is tight. I don't think it's up over right here. <clears throat> Dang it. <laughs> well, we got one fish so far. Again, we're going to refer to this as uh, Limline Alley. There's technically eight of them, but two of them were back that way when we first started. And I think every other one of these was uh, live bait and uh, cut bait. Nope. And we're just going to cruise right down. Again, I haven't been here very much, so be prepared for me to hit a log or something. I'm not going to go. We did cruise through here before, but the water dropped about a foot yesterday. You don't get much lower than this. And in my opinion, once the water settles and sits somewhere for a while, the fish start biting. At least on this river. It 
So I know I've asked you this before, but has anything changed? Uh, are you, uh, do you, you live in a small neighborhood near Louisville, right? I live in Louisville, just in a, a suburb. You live in a neighborhood in Louisville, mm -hmm. Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, so what, what's it like there? What do you, do you, uh, you have somebody mow your grass? Oh yeah, yeah, I have a company that mows my grass for $30 a week. $30 a week? Yeah. And you, uh, you got like hedges and stuff? No, I'm actually wanting to do landscaping next spring. I love hydrangeas, and one time I went on a shoot, and they actually thought I was a professional landscaper for some weird reason. So I'm totally going back to that same place and buying hydrangeas from them. But I want to like landscape it out. Yeah, I got all kinds of plants around my house when I moved in. Yeah. I tried to get rid of them all, but Tara threw a fit. She came over and she loves them, so I told her, if she likes them so much, then she needs to take care of them. Tara's a good woman. She, she loves, she's tried to have a green thumb. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, that's, I'm pretty sure there's fish on this one. Oh yeah, me too. Now it's moving slow, there's no telling what it is. Yeah. You got a net or you just flip him up in? We, we're not skunked, we're not in danger. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, a little bitty, little bitty fish. That's precious. We thought about doing the smallest fish of the year, but yeah, that would take too much. Uh, no, weight. I had the smallest little jug fish, remember? Yeah. That was super cute too. Oh, <sighs> well, cause. Now this is, this type of fish right here, guys, is when you catch that hundred pounder, <laughs> usually this is in its mouth.